This segment, we're going to be talking about ground strokes. A ground stroke is a ball that you take off the bounce. Um, usually takes place back at the baseline. Um, you're going you're gonna to see yourself taking a ground stroke uh, off of the off of your return, so after your opponent hits a serve, you're back at the baseline, you're going to take a ground stroke and hopefully come up to the net. Uh, another example would be after you serve, your, your opponent returns, and then on your third ball, um, you can be hitting a ground stroke as your third ball. Some of the natural tendencies um, that I see at a, at a lower level as we get hitting ground strokes are, um, you know, we, we, we tend to overswing, we tend to overdo it. Um, I see a lot of people trying to use their wrist. I see a lot of people slapping at the ball. Um, so, so just know that if you're gonna if you're gonna maintain control with your ground strokes, if you're gonna if you're gonna get some easy power, if you're gonna hit the hit the ground stroke nice and clean, it, it all takes place from your shoulder. It all takes place by closing your stance. This is an open stance. That this is a closed stance. Anytime that we get hitting a ground stroke and you have time. I want you looking to close your stance. So as a, as a tennis player coming in, this is gonna be an easy transition. Um, so, so as we hit a ground stroke, if you have time, I, I would love to see you guys closing your stance. This is an open stance, okay? And my hands are at ready position. This is gonna be a closed stance, okay? So as we close our stance, I want all the weight to end up on our back foot, okay? Right as the ball comes, the ball is bouncing up. The, the last thing I wanna see you guys uh, doing too is, and, and, and I would say like another natural tendency are, is uh, I see a lot of beginners taking the ball too early. Meaning as the ball is coming up, you're, you're, you're swinging super fast. And, and it's just that idea of lower level players coming in, they want to panic and they want to rush and they want to hit the ball as quickly as possible. When you hit the ball as it's coming up, the ball is at its uh, fastest pace. The ball deaccelerates a lot as it starts to come back down. So I want you making contact as the ball starts slowing down and as the ball starts dropping. So we have um, going from ready position to close stance. Okay, we're gonna call this getting our paddle back to set. This is set. Um, keep in mind, we're always in the same grip. Our grip is always in continental, okay? Continental, hammer grip, or handshake grip. Paddle's back in continental, okay? Paddle's back at set. I want to I want to point the butt cap directly at the ball when it comes. So butt cap is facing at the ball. It's kind of like my guider. Okay, all the weight is on my back foot. As I as I make contact, as I make contact, I want contact to end up around your left foot. So you see how your stance is closed here. As you make contact, this this point of contact is going to be around your left foot. Okay, you're transferring your weight forward and then you're finishing up above your shoulder. A couple things on the finish. Make sure we're swinging up low to high. Make sure the knuckles are facing at your, at your ear. Um, make sure that your elbow is, is underneath your chin. Okay, and then also too, you see how I, I, I rotate my body and I point my hips and I point my belly button directly at my target. Okay, uh, so, so, so there's a huge amount of stress being, being put into getting easy power with rotating your core. We have this whole kinetic chain going on. Um, so on, on, on both forehands and backhands, backhands, same thing. I'm in ready position. Okay, our backhands, I'm in ready position, and then I'm gonna close my stance. Um, whether you have a two-handed backhand, whether you have a one-handed backhand, um, there's, there's such a range of acceptability, right? So keep in mind, you can have two hands on your backhand, or you can have one. As far as uh, giving yourself more reach and, and being able to move more, uh, more efficiently, I see, I see a lot more, um, I see a higher percentage of people using one hand. Um, you know, so on the backhand side, we're, we're in ready position and we're going to close our stance. Um, I use a one-handed backhand, so I want you pointing that, pointing that butt cap at the ball again, okay? And you're swinging low to high and you're lifting up and over the net. This is your finish. So with that, with that one-handed backhand, we're uh, taking the paddle back and we're looking directly at the ball. We're, we're in this close stance. We're making contact right and right. Uh, right by our right foot. Anytime that we're in this close stance, I want your point of contact to be by that front foot. Here's my point of contact, and then here's my finish. Now, if you, have a, if you had a two-handed backhand, I wanna see both hands being on the grip. So we're, so we're gonna start in ready position. We're gonna uh, close our stance. Keep in mind that when you set your paddle, whether it's for a forehand or a backhand, I want you setting it right back to that back hip, okay, as you make contact. Just like your one-handed backhand or your dominant side forehand, I want you making contact by that right foot or by that front foot and then finishing low to high. Keep, keeping in mind that you're rotating your core, 
you have this whole kinetic chain going on and you're pointing your belly button directly at your target. Some of the drills that, that, that you could do for, for ground strokes are, are gonna simply be um, you know, having, having a basket of balls or having a bucket of balls back at the baseline, okay? Um, and you're gonna do drop and hit forehands and backhands. This is just a good way to work on your technique. You're gonna try to do a drop and hit forehand. Um, you can do anywhere from 10 to 15, and then you can do drop and hit backhands. As we do a drop and hit, you're gonna line up. You're gonna line up in a close stance, okay? You're gonna drop the ball out in front of you, and you're gonna swing low to high. So this is just a good controlled way where you're, where you're in a stationary position um, that, that allows you to, to really focus on your technique, focus on letting the ball drop and getting that timing, um, and to be rotating your hips as you make contact. We can do forehands and we can do backhands. On the backhand side, same sort of thing. We're gonna, we're gonna close our stance. Um, backhand side's a bit more different um, as far as like the feeding and, and, and how you feed. So on the backhand side, we're actually gonna cross our arms kind of like we're hugging ourselves. We're gonna toss the ball in the air. We're gonna let the ball drop and then we're swinging low to high. If I had, if I had two hands on the paddle, same thing. I'm gonna toss the ball up nice and high, bring two hands on it and then swing low to high. So these are, these are controlled drills where you're in a stationary position that, uh, that is a self-fed drop and hit. Uh, once you've mastered you know, that, uh, that self-feeding drill where you're feeding to yourself and doing drop and hit forehands and backhands, next thing you could do or like the next progression could be um, you and your partner line up across from each other and try to hit down the line. You know, maybe, maybe you just hit down the line for, for two minutes on, on both sides and see how many balls in a row you can get. Um, you can go down the line. You could try to hit uh, cross court on both sides, both the backhand side and the forehand side. Another drill that you, that you could do is hitting up the middle and really focusing on your footwork and trying to hit every ball as a forehand. Is, is it gonna be difficult? Yes. Is your partner always gonna hit balls to your forehand? No, I'm sure balls are gonna be spraying everywhere, but it's a good drill to, to really focus on. If I'm playing head to head with somebody and we're just gonna hit ground strokes down the middle to, to to really focus on my footwork, to really focus on getting my feet in the correct position and trying to hit every ball as a forehand. So, so you could do that for two minutes, forehand to forehand down the middle, okay? Um, and then you can do backhand for, for, for two minutes. So every ball you hit, you're starting in ready and you're closing your stance. You're trying to take every ball as a backhand. Um, know that this is, this is probably gonna be a tough drill. I'm sure there's gonna be balls everywhere. So the idea that you're always gonna hit a backhand um, is probably not likely, but you're always gonna, you're gonna try to position your feet um, so, you, so you can take every ball as a backhand. So I, I, think, I th think a fun way to integrate like a playing situation in with these drills is giving yourself a target with some cones and playing against your partner. And giving yourself uh, two minutes and saying, hey, at, at the end of the two minutes, whoever knocks the most cones down is the winner, or uh, maybe it's just the first person that, that knocks down two cones in general is, is the winner.